Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm going to tell you guys about the African Crested Porcupine. So a couple weeks back I did a video on the North American Porcupine and I was able to do that with videos provided by other animal enthusiasts. And when I put out the call for porcupine videos, I also got plenty of video of the African Crested Porcupine. So with COVID and everything else going on, I can't really do my usual style video. But thanks to other animal lovers providing me videos, I'm able to still produce content for you guys. All of the porcupine content that's in this video was provided to us by the zoo at Lincoln Park in the San Antonio Aquarium, along with stuff that my dad and I have filmed ourselves. As I mentioned before, this video is about the African Crested Porcupine, also known as the Crested Porcupine. And these guys can get up to about 30 inches long and weigh anywhere between 30 and 60 pounds. And a cool little fact about them is that the spines or the quills that are on their neck and their spine are actually longer than the quills that are on the side of their body. And the African Crested Porcupine is also the world's largest porcupine. These porcupines can be found in parts of Italy, Northern Africa, and Sub-Saharan Africa. And I'll put a graphic right here to show their natural range. These guys can be found in grasslands or in rocky areas. And will typically look for rocky crevices, caves, or large burrows to escape from the heat of the day and from predators. Some animals that may try to eat the Crested Porcupine are lions, leopards, hyenas, and of course humans. When these porcupines are threatened, they will stand up their quills, they will vibrate their quills, and then they will hiss to try to intimidate the predator. If the predator continues, then the porcupine, like the North American porcupine, will turn around and back towards the predator. And if the porcupine gets close enough to stick the predator with one of its quills, there is a barb on the end of the quill that will stick in the predator and be removed from the porcupine, so hopefully he can escape. African crested porcupines tend to spend the majority of their day hiding in their burrows or their cave to avoid the heat of the day. Then they will come out at night in search of food and have been known to walk up to 10 miles in a single night in search of food. An adult pair, which are very family oriented, will typically live in a small group of their own young. These porcupines will eat roots, tubers, bulbs, fruits, tree bark, small vertebrates, insects, and farmers crops which brings them into conflict with the local farmers. These porcupines are monogamous and will typically stay with a partner for several years. They typically breed in November and December and give birth about a hundred days later. A typical porcupine litter consists of only one or two little porcupines. And just like the North American porcupine, a baby porcupine's quills will harden up after a couple of days. These porcupines only wean for about two to three weeks before it's time to introduce them to some solid foods and they typically reach sexual maturity in about one or two years. According to the IUCN, these porcupines are very common in their natural range and have received the title of least concern. Although these porcupines are least concerned, there are several factors that are affecting their wild populations. As I mentioned earlier, these porcupines will eat from local gardens and orchards, and some farmers have set out poison baits to kill offending porcupines. Also, these porcupines may be hunted by local tribes for their meat, which have been a steady part of their diet, and along they might be hunted for their quills, for traditional medicinal values, and for witchcraft. These porcupines are also very social animals when in captivity, and I've even seen animal keepers petting porcupines. Personally, I would have never thought that was a good idea, but as you can see in the video here, it looks like it's really enjoying the attention it's getting. And I really want to pet a porcupine now, for some odd reason. I will do that someday. But, these porcupines are also rodents, and like all rodents, their teeth will continue to grow. So, they have to continually, continually chew and eat on things to kind of wear down those front teeth. So the next time you're at a zoo, make sure you check out their porcupine species, whether it be the North American porcupine or the crested porcupine. I think they are really cool animals, and one of the porcupine experiences that really stands out to me is I was at Zoo America in Hershey Park and they have North American porcupines and I don't know why but those porcupines always seemed to be active typically porcupines like to hide in the hole or be away from people but those porcupines are always out and about and wanting to eat or climb their trees or just walk around the edge of the enclosure I just think that was super cool to see porcupines active all the time so I hope you guys can have a similar experience at some point.
But thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you next week.